Hi guys, it's Brooke. Um, excuse my just got out of the bed appearance, but I just got out of the bed <laughs> a couple hours ago actually. And um, I went picking this morning and I found the most amazing things that um, I really wanted to share with you because this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. And so um, I thought you might enjoy it too. Okay, so you ready? Here goes. This is a yearbook called The Argus from 19... 23 and it is from the Oklahoma College for Women OCW and the artwork the fonts the pictures it is just so incredible and it's so it's a college for women and it was like a small college for women 1923 um, look at the artwork so freaking cool and it has uh, categories I'm gonna see if I can find like um, beauty queen you know like most popular girl and things like that um, and I know it's just right here. here here's cutest girl you know, and um, May Queen, Freshman Queen, all girls. <laughs> and I mean, the artwork, I, I just, in the history, there's little little bits of stuff throughout it. And, you know, there's all these clubs and groups. I mean, this thing, this yearbook is fat. And um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it quickly, but I think there's actually an African-American woman who was part of the their um, was a director. I mean, maybe it's my imagination, but is she not African-American? At least half. Um, and this is 1923, right? And she's a departmental director. Oh, maybe she's not. And then also I happen to notice this lady who's a little androgynous, and I thought that was super cool next to all these girly girls. <laughs> and anyway, you know what? So there's that one, and there... I, there are two of these. I have two, two exactly like that. It's amazing. Then there's another one from 1928. Same um, school. But this one has autographs throughout. And it's so interesting. It's really kind of hard to read the writing. It's so proper. Um, her name is Edith. And, you know, a lot of them are like Edith Darling and My Dearest Edith. Um, and apparently Edith was, was a popular lady. Um, and uh, just just so cool. I just love these. So there's that one. And there's another one, the same school from 1921. And, um, you know, just pretty incredible. I mean, do, do you ever see anything like this? No. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, you know, I just, just love these. And then I got, let's see, this is a different school, the Pioneer from 1923. And the best I could tell, okay, so this is from, let's see, I think this is Montana. Polson, does that sound like Montana to you? And it's got, um, let's see, no, this one doesn't have autographs, is what I was thinking, but, you know, it's just cool. It's just like, you know, if you had a relative that went to the school this time or, if you're a collector, you know, not you specifically, but I mean, whoever is going to end up owning these, you know, is, um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them because I want them to be in a place where someone's going to really appreciate them, you know, um, maybe where they'll have historical value. For, for these, I'll probably contact, I'll see if that school still exists and maybe um, it might be something they might like to have. And then I've got 1967, <laughs> a little closer to date too. This looks a little more familiar to us. This gentleman went off to Vietnam War after high school. So a lot of the autographs um, are in regard to that, in regard to be safe and be careful and, and things like that. So um, this one's really interesting too. This is, oh, this is the one from, Polson, Montana. I don't know. I'm getting confused now. Um, yeah, I think this is the one from Polson, Montana, and the last one was from uh, a high school in Oklahoma, co-ed high school. So anyway, that's all. Just want to share that with you. 
and hope you liked it as much as I did. Have a good day.